Hello, my friends, and welcome back to my channel. It is Friday, so you know what that is. It is menu plan day for me. And I also have a small produce haul. Um, pantry challenge is still going on. I've gotten a little more lax in that. Um, you know, my goal was to only go do a produce haul like every other week, but I think this is the second week in a row I've done it just because Andrew and Anne have been here <laughs> for a week, so we're going through things much quicker. And because we've been doing a lot of baking and things like that, we've flown through our butter. So I did break my rule and bought butter. But you know what? It's okay. <laughs> for the most part, we are rocking this challenge. We are using what we have. We are, you know, using what's in the freezer, using what's in the pantry, and it's really been really been good so um it just shows how well stocked my pantry is because it hasn't gotten hard yet yeah um this coming week we have a couple new recipes uh, we have a new breakfast recipe that's a little indulgent i'm not going to lie um it just looks so good when i saw it it's sourdough based but if you do not keep sourdough I think it can totally be changed up. Um, it is a blue, I'm looking down at my notes, blueberry cream cheese sourdough baked pancake. I know, it's a mouthful. So you, you, you make pancake batter with sourdough. Well, if you don't keep sourdough, just make regular pancake batter. Or if you prefer to use a pancake mix, do that. Use your favorite recipe, your favorite mix, whatever. Um, I'm just using sourdough because we like to use sourdough for the probiotic benefits of it. It's easier to digest. It has more protein, has some health benefits, and I like to be able to use my discard instead of throwing it away. Um, so that's why I'm using sourdough. But it is indulgent. It is a little bit high in points. It is, but the calories aren't bad at all. So I'm not worried about that, but it just looks delicious. I hope it's as delicious as it looks. But enough about fangirling over that recipe. Um, I also have a cheeseburger soup recipe. I have never, I mean, cheeseburger soup is so popular. Oh my gosh, so many YouTubers I watch make cheeseburger soup. I've never made it. It, it never appealed to me and now all of a sudden it is. So I'm gonna give cheeseburger soup a try for our soup on Thursday. I don't think we've repeated soups, maybe once or twice, and that's it, this entire season. So that's been a lot of fun. Um, what else? I think that's, oh, my lunches. Guys, you know I struggle with lunch. Most of the time I don't even eat lunch. So I just put a picky plate for every day and I'll do some chicken salad, I'll do some egg salad, I'll do some tuna salad if I feel the need for lunch. You know, I eat my breakfast a little bit later, generally not until like 9.30 and I eat such a nutrient dense filling whole foods breakfast that, well, maybe except for that blueberry cream cheese bake, <laughs> but I don't really get hungry and I am so busy during the day, I don't I don't get hungry. If I get hungry, I eat. I don't not eat. Um, but a lot of times, and like on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we eat dinner early. So I just put picky plates for every day because I was making myself crazy. And why do that? I don't do anything. How can I say this without sounding rude? I don't do anything special for my channel. I want you to see my real life how I maintain a 60 plus pound weight loss in real life. And for me, real life isn't necessarily having three perfect meals a day. It is not buying all kind of, you know, diet snacks and this and that. That is not real life for me and I don't wanna show that to you. I don't wanna do things or buy things or eat things that I would not eat just to video. Does that make sense? And I'm not trying to be rude. I'm not trying to say I'm not giving you guys the best I can give you. I'm giving you the real me. 
And the real me is just not planning lunches because I have everything for these lunches. If I get hungry, I'll pop open a can of tuna or I'll make up a little bit of chicken salad or whatever. I probably over explained that, but I just want you to know that you're getting the real me and this is what we do and this is how we eat. Sorry, you just get Joni. <laughs> just, what was that show where the guy used to go, just Jack? Well, just Joni. So anyway, enough of this. Let's get to the menu because I got babies coming soon. Okay, here we go. Sunday, keeping it low point, low cal because it is Super Bowl Sunday and we are going out. So just eggs and sausage for breakfast. If I feel like I need it, I'll throw in a sourdough English muffin or a slice of sourdough toast, something like that. Monday, breakfast burritos. Tuesday, keeping it really easy, just having some cereal and milk. If I get my granola made, if not, we'll pivot. Wednesday, a breakfast sandwich. Thursday is that new recipe, the blueberry cream cheese sourdough pan baked pancake. Friday, some oatmeal bowls, probably a chunky monkey because we just love it so much. And Saturday, omelets and bacon. And like I said, for well, Sunday, we generally don't eat lunch because we eat breakfast a little bit later and dinner a little bit earlier. And like I said, it's Super Bowl Sunday, so we'll be eating probably a little too much Sunday night. Um, and then through the week, I just, just picky plates, just assorted meats, like chicken salad, egg salad, tuna, vegetables, dip, fruit. And then Friday, some leftover soup. And then Saturday will be some clean out the fridge time. We are heading to my brother's to watch the Super Bowl. Um, so I think I am going to make some stromboli or some pepperoni bread or something. Um, trying to stay within the pantry challenge and I have cheese, I have pepperoni in the freezer, like the big sandwich pepperoni and I can make dough easily and I have a bunch of shrimp in the freezer. So that'll be my contributions more than likely to the Super Bowl party. Monday, we're gonna have some taco pie with chips and guac. Tuesday, chicken Italiano sandwiches with fries and a vegetable. Such a romantic dinner for Valentine's Day, isn't it? <laughs> Doug has school that night. It's, you know, we show we love each other every day and you know I show it through food, so we don't need anything fancy. Wednesday, we're gonna have creamy lemon chicken with pasta. Thursday, cheeseburger soup. I don't have a point value yet because honestly, I have not calculated it. I'm still sort of looking at different recipes and deciding what I wanna do. Friday, mesquite pork chops with potatoes and a vegetable. And then Saturday, we're gonna just do sloppy joes. They're two points plus a bun is four. That's why that little math equation is there. Um, and then we'll probably just do a vegetable with it. Doug may want fries again, and that's fine if he does. I'll be happy to make those. And then I next week I need to make sourdough crackers just in case I do have lunch. You know, the, some chicken and egg salad. I like to have sourdough crackers with that. I need to make granola because we are completely out of our Azure granola. Um, and I did not order it because I was really trying to not order things I didn't have to. Um, and I can easily make granola. I just need to do it. And we are down to four quarts of chicken bone broth. I did 52 or 57 quarts back in the summer and fall and we are down to four. So I need to make some bone broth. So that is what we are eating this week. I think it's a pretty good menu. I think it's really good food. I'm excited about it. I'm really excited for this indulgent breakfast on Thursday. <laughs> so that is it, my friends. I have a small Aldi produce haul to show you. Okay, here is my little Aldi produce haul. We have an eight pound bag of russet potatoes, a bunch of bananas, some broccoli crowns, mushrooms, just one baby Bella and two white, some grapes, 
some, did you buy the right apples? Yes. Um, organic Gala apples. If you buy nothing else organic in your life, buy organic apples. The stuff they spray on apples is banned like in every country except the United States. So go for the organic apples. Lemons. I wasn't gonna do butter during pantry challenge, but we baked so much that I'm out of butter. I have like one block of homemade butter left and that is it. So I sucked it up and bought butter and I just got the regular butter because they were, they did not, Aldi did not have the, um, the grass fed Irish butter that we like. So I have it on my Azure order, but it doesn't look like it's gonna come in. So that'll be a Costco next month. Then I got some half and half. And then I know, shocked, the JPP has lentils. They're not for me, they're for the chickens. Um, I have been watching videos about sprouting lentils and feeding them to the chickens as like fodder, as treats and all that, especially in the winter when the free ranging is not as good as it is in the spring and summer when there's all the good grasses and garden stuff and things like that. So I am going to try sprouting these. So that is it for all the $40.25. So friends, that is it for this week. Another week of menu plan, another week of grocery haul. I know it's nothing exciting. I know there's no fabulous, great, you know, raise the roof snacks and recipes and all that, but it's how we eat, it's what we like, and I just wanna show you that you can do this eating real good whole food, and you know, you don't have to buy into all the uh, the diet mentality and and buy all the, the, like, you know, Weight Watchers has their snacks and their bars and all that, and if you don't wanna eat that, you don't need to. That is the biggest fallacy that I know, like when I started Weight Watchers, people are like, oh, you have to buy all their food. You don't. You don't buy their food, you, you just eat food. Um, they have food available if it's going to help you, if it is a tool that helps you to lose and stay on plan, it's available for you. It's your journey, you do it how you want. That is the beauty of Weight Watchers. You just have to remember, and you've heard me say it a million times and you're tired of hearing me say it, but that's okay because somebody might need it. Whatever you eat and do to lose the weight, you are going to have to do Ever to maintain that loss. So make it something you can stick with. I learned the hard way. I did. I learned the hard way. I, I went, you know, the whole diet mentality, diet food route. And then when I realized that that was not the best thing for us, I needed to change it up. And I did. And now we're just learning to work with that. So you do you guys, whatever works for you, whatever you can do for the rest of your life, whatever you need to do to get healthy. Losing weight is just part of the equation. Getting healthy is the other part. So whatever you need to do, you do it. And I am here 100% to support you and help you along the way. So always feel free to reach out to me. That is it. I Hope you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend if you are watching this on Friday. If not, have a great day. And I will see you all on Monday in my weekend vlog.